Hey, what's up everybody out there? Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel bringing you guys a really cool unboxing from the people over at Gigabyte. Now, everybody knows that the new Smart Response technology is out and this takes advantage of using a regular HDD in conjunction with a, with a uh, SSD. Well, this thing comes with one of the new SLC SSDs on board, a 20 gigabyte Intel super fast model. Today we're going to bring you the unboxing of the Z68P UD3-I SSD motherboard. This supports all of the new second generation core CPUs, the i7, i3, i5, has 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, dual channel, supports both Crossfire and SLI all on one board, and it's got that. But for now, let's do the unboxing. We'll start off right here, taking a look at the box. You guys, if you want to see the screen bigger, like I said before, you can make it in HD or turn it bigger. I know it's kind of hard to see in a little tiny screen right there. That's why they give you the option and why we film it in HD for you as well. So here we go. Kind of go ahead and pop it across the thing here. Pop the cap here. And uh, go ahead and start removing stuff out of the box. To start off, we got the rear I.O. right here. We've got two SATA connectors right here. Got the user's manual driver and installation CD. Try to pull everything back. Got the multilingual installation guidebook right here too. Got the 4x4. This is for the Intel Smart Response Technologies. This is your install guide. Then we have the SLI bridge right here. Now the reason the Crossfire bridge doesn't come in here is because whenever you buy a card from AMD it comes in the box. Here's a little quick CPU installation guide. So basically all this stuff that you see right here would be on the bundles page of a written review on most websites. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff out of the way. You guys have seen all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that out of the way so we can look at the motherboard, basically the heart of the matter. There's lots and lots of features on this motherboard as well that I'll go over in the review. This is one of their ultra durable series motherboards. I'll go ahead and pop it out of here. It actually was one more thing in the box. Didn't want to miss it. It's probably really no big deal, but the little gigabyte sticker was in the box. My bad. Okay, let me get the box out of the way. Motherboard comes completely sealed. A nice package. All nice and bundled up. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the board out. We'll set the board down. You can see it's pretty interesting. It's got all Japanese capacitors on it. Low ferrite choke, all that stuff you can see on the board, very well made. That's what all these things are right here. Here's the cooling solution. It's going here and here. It's pretty nice. And then right here on the board itself, this is actually the SSD technology on the board. This is like one of the biggest things right here. This is a 20 gigabyte SLC. It's a very fast drive built right onto the motherboard itself, 20 gigabytes. Really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to testing this thing. Then you can see around the ZIF socket, Plenty of room there for any of the aftermarket heat sinks or anything that you want to use. You've got your 8-pin power connector here, your 24-pin power connector here. We have one, two, three, four fan connectors on the board. There's four of those all together. Not a lot, but still pretty much good. Flip it around. You can see where all the memory goes in right here. This is, uses DDR3 dual channel memory. It'll use up to 32 gigabytes and the new way gigabyte sticks come out. Then we're gonna flip the board over here. There are two different controllers on here. There's the one for the Intel chipset and then the one for the Marvel chipset. I'll go ahead and take this little sticker off right here. This little white one right here and this one right here, these both support the new SATA 3 or six gigabit transfer rate. These ones right here are SATA 2. So you have one, two, two, four, six, eight, eight altogether that you can use. Um, some people complain about having the, the old SATA 2s, but those are fine for hooking up your CD players and all that kind of stuff. It really doesn't matter for that type of connection, so it's really no problem. You do not need all SATA 3 all the way across the board to make it a really good board. Uh, just some stuff on here I want you guys to take a look at right here. These are all the stuff, sports, the SLI, Crossfire, all that good stuff. Flip it around, take a look at the bottom of the board. This is where all this stuff connects. You've got a little connection here for a USB 3.0 breakout box. Kinds of good stuff. All the wiring connects pretty well there. Uh, let's see here. All right, then we're gonna jump in. We have a one, two, three of the PCI 1X slots. We have a PCIe 16X slot here, a PCIe uh, 8X X slot here, and then two standard PCI slots right here. That pretty much makes up the board itself. 
you can see it's pretty well laid out. Standard color from Gigabyte, the blue. Turn around, take a look at the rear of the board. A lot of different stuff on here. You've got your little thing right here for your legacy PS2 keyboard. You have two, four, six, eight of your standard uh, USB 2.0s. Then you have two of USB 3.0s right there. Let's see here. Can't really see this thing from my angle. We've got the IEEE, the Firewire port. And let's see here. We have no powered eSATA on this one. We do have this right here. This right here is the display port. This has onboard audio. I mean, excuse me, has onboard video. The chipset supports that, the Z68, and this is for the onboard video. That's for your display port right there. For the audio, we have the SPDIF right here. For those of you who want to use digital audio, and for those of you who want to use analog, you have the 7.1 surround sound all analog connections here. So that pretty much makes it up. I'll set this back here real quick. Just let the camera and zoom just back in all this stuff once you guys see it. This is everything that comes in the box of this. This has been the unboxing of the new Gigabyte. Let me grab the box here for you folks to see. This is the Z68 XP UD3-I SSD. Thanks for watching the unboxing. I'll see you guys here with the full review in a few days here on motherboards.org. Thanks for watching.